This new and massive Enkonomiya region has some well-hidden rewards, and these are 5 awesome secrets you could be missing out on. Before we start this video, most of the secrets you need to uncover in Enkonomiya requires you to be in either the White Knight or Evernight mode, and in order to switch between these modes, you'll either need to encounter these special switches, or you can simply go to this location and trigger the mode switch without too much worry. Also, I'll leave a notice at the top of this video whenever a specific mode is needed. For example, you can only see these ghosts called Sin Shades when the Evernight mode is active, which is the so-called Night mode when the massive device is no longer lighting up the the whole map. Now, with all of that said, this first secret starts south at the center of the map, so teleport to this waypoint here, and then immediately turn around and start going to the right side of this area until you reach these hydro elemental statues, and by then, just look for this gap and enter it. Now, it doesn't look like you can do anything here, but during night mode, you can sit on this rock and a sin shade will appear, who will give you a task of locating three locations where he left some notes. Finding these locations can get a little tricky, so the first one is going to be located at the Narrows, where you can teleport to this point, and after doing so, you'll notice two big pillars sticking out, so make your way towards them, and you'll quickly see a familiar rock shape that you first found at the beginning of this secret, which means you'll need to sit on it and maybe reflect a little on how lucky or unlucky you have been with your last wishes, but afterwards, get up from the rock and interact with the lamp hanging on one of the pillars. That's basically what you'll need to do two more times. Now, go to Evernight Temple Zone by teleporting to this location, and again, immediately turn around and start running until you see the lamp hanging on one of the coral reefs. You might need to take care of some pesky hillichurls, so after putting them to sleep, repeat the process of sitting and then reading the note on the lamp. Last but not least, head to Serpent's Heart Waypoint here, and after teleporting, just look to your right and you'll see your favorite lamp hanging on a tree. I don't have to tell you what to do by this point, right? Finally, make your way back to the original location where you found the sin shade and let him know that you've done plenty of sitting and reading on his three specified locations. He'll be happy to hear about it and you'll get rewarded with a precious chest and an achievement. If there's one quest that's completely hidden away from everyone, then it would be this one. Start by teleporting to this waypoint in the Serpent's Heart Zone, then make your way to the edge of the cliff, jump off and glide all the way to this secret cavern entrance that you'll notice almost immediately after getting below the point you jumped off. Inside the cave, there's a lonely ruined destroyer, also known as Snakey, that's guarding the area, and after defeating it, you'll want to climb up on top of these chests to inspect the drawing on the wall, which will reveal a new sequence to a puzzle that you should have completed as part of the main Enkonomiya quest. But before you leave this place, there's a fishing spot right next to you where you can catch the newest rays, which you can use later in the game to redeem rewards. Now afterwards, teleport back to the same waypoint and make your way to the nearby spot where you had to use the puzzle during the main quest and solve it with the newest sequence you just obtained from the cavern wall. Now for the sake of keeping this as simple as possible, this puzzle here is basically just a sequence that shows you how you need to activate the magical doors. So just follow this pattern and after the last fifth door, a new shade will appear and will give you a quest called the Lotus Eater. I don't want to spoil too much about this quest, so just keep in mind the day and night cycles I've mentioned previously, because while the quest gives you an exact location, you still need to have White Knight active in the zone, and then solve the puzzle that's keeping the doors locked by adjusting the height of these lanterns. Just hit each monument until you can achieve the same outcome as shown here. Finally, after you get inside the secret room, activate night mode again with this monument, and then talk to the shade you'll find inside this room. There's more to the quest, but basically you'll need to wait for the server to reset to finish the quest and instead I want to make sure you've opened this chest over here because it reveals a very special key which I'll talk about in the next part of this video. Alright, so we've got the secret room key, now you're wondering what the heck does it unlock? Well, maybe you already know, but there's actually another hidden secret that seems like nobody have noticed so far. First, you should make your way towards this teleport point in the narrow zone, and then head to this side of the cliff, jump down, and you'll spot the secret entrance that you want to start gliding towards. The door will ask for the secret room key, so use it and get inside the place. Now I won't waste your time walking you through a small mini puzzle you'll find here, because it's just going to be an exhausting exercise of switching between day and night mode, so after you're done solving this thing, you'll go through a corridor and find a precious chest waiting for you at the end. However, what if I told you there's a secret inside a secret room? Well, it just so happens I've noticed this weird distortion before heading towards the chest, and I thought, since I had to enter this room during the so-called white night day mode, I made my way back to the previous room with the two switches and went for this one, not that one, because otherwise you'd get stuck, and after switching back to the so-called evernight mode, 
mode, a picture was waiting for me. You can probably recognize it because it's already something we've had to find previously in the video. So by now, you should know that you need to make your way towards Serpent's Heart location once again and enter through these magical doors as in the shown sequence to get into a fight with three ruin guards and afterwards, you get to celebrate this discovery with a luxurious chest. So this next secret is an achievement that's going to require you to complete two world quests before you can solve the secret itself. Oh, and of course, since you're going to be dealing with shades, make sure Enkonomiya is set to Evernight mode. Basically, you'll first want to start with a quest called Hyperion Sturge, which has three different locations shown here, and you need to visit each of them, use the sigils to unlock a challenge trial, and then collect three different items which you'll need to submit at one final location, which can be found here after fighting the two Ruin Guards and lighting up the torches. I won't spoil what happens next, but you'll get an item for the next quest you need to do, which is found in this Evernight Temple location. Open the doors with the two Seelies you can see from here, and then accept a quest that will require you to do a lot of running and fighting around the map, and finally, once you're done, here's how you complete this secret achievement. There's a total of seven shades called Sun Children scattered around close to each other, and this platform that ends the quest will be your location to navigate. So start by first looking towards this side, and you'll notice one of the shades standing a little above, so get there and talk to them. Afterwards, go to the right side and hug the wall to get to the time switching mechanism, but before you press it, go downwards here and pick up this glowing essence, then go back again to the mechanism and activate the day mode. Now turn around, jump off and glide inside this room that was previously blocked locked by a wall, and then put the essence inside the structure, punch it, and move the wall to claim a chest. Finally, go back to the time mechanism, change to night mode, and get back to the same room again to find one of the sun children. Alright, so far so good, 5 more left. So the next shade can be found by going back to the same platform, and looking at one of the wall openings, and you should see there's a way to get in there, so glide there, and talk to the kid. Again, back at the platform, the next one is really easy to find, just look at this destroyed bridge, and not too far away one of them is standing there. Now, for the remaining three shades, it couldn't get easier. Make your way from the platform towards the entrance you see here and turn left, and you'll eventually come across one of them, and afterwards, the next one is almost immediately next to you, so just get into the destroyed room. And as for the last one, just climb the way I've shown here, and you'll quickly find last of the sun children minding their own business. And that's it! All of this worked for five lousy primo gems. But hey, at least you've got one extra achievement you can brag about. I promise, this last secret is a quick one with much better rewards. Just make your way to Evernight Temple here and talk to the Shade during night mode. He'll ask you to make a trick shot with your bow while standing still in the highlighted spot, so hit the mark, talk to him again, and collect a precious chest along with an achievement. I think that we can all agree that this and the previous secret is the perfect encapsulation of how unfair the world can be sometimes. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful and let me know in the comments if you found any other cool secrets in Enconomia. Thanks for watching and see you next time.